sure by now most of you watching this video have heard of wireless charging. Set your phone or watch on a special pad and POW! Word. Electricity somehow jumps from the wall to your device. But how does this feat of black magic wizardry take this and disapparate it into this? There. That's it. Two circular coils. Some big secret, right? But that still doesn't explain how it works. To find that out, we have to disapparate back to the roaring 1820s, where US men could be taxed for not being married, both the Venus de Milo and Antarctica are discovered, and tomatoes are proven not to be poisonous. <coughs> this is when the road to wireless power started, but instead of a coil, we had just a wire and a compass. This is where Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted found that passing an electric current through a wire and placing it by a compass would mess with its magnetic field, and that switching the current would then switch the compass needle direction. He concluded that electricity running through a conductor produces a magnetic field around it. So jumping ahead a decade later, English scientist Michael Faraday was able to improve upon what is now called electromagnetism. He found that when you coil the wire, it concentrates the magnetic field, also known as the flux, making it stronger. He believed that if an electrical charge could produce a magnetic field, then a magnetic field should be able to produce an electrical charge. So he took another coiled wire and put it within the magnetic flux of the first wire, and POW! Whirr. The first wire induced an electrical charge in the second one, so this became known as electromagnetic induction. It was a very brief charge, but he also found that constantly switching the current could sustain the charge in the second wire. This was the first example of wireless power transmission, and over the decades, scientists strived to perfect it. This brings us to the hero of Thomas Edison haters everywhere and pioneer of wireless electricity research, Nikolai Tesla. Armed with this knowledge, he built what's now known as the Tesla coil that used sparks to create high voltages and radio waves to carry the magnetic field. Using this Tesla coil, he could wirelessly light up a bulb from across the room. The crystal radio of the 1920s uses a similar concept to power itself, using only the electromagnetism it receives from the radio waves. And recently, the aptly named Nikolai Labs created a cell phone case that charges your phone using radio waves emitting from the phone itself. And that technology is what brings us wireless medical devices, wireless toothbrushes, and to tie it up in a nice little package, wireless chargers. Because of the 5 volts of energy needed to charge your phone and the size of the coils, the phone has to be close to the pad. But imagine if the coils were larger and the energy was less. That may make it possible to someday charge your device just by walking into your house. What would you charge wirelessly? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for what you would like to cover next, submit or vote for your ideas at tinkernut.com ideas. And if you want to learn how to make your own wireless power coils, keep an eye out for my next Tinkernut Labs video. Click here to watch the last video, and if you'd like to support my show, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.